In this video, I plan to explain exactly what Hugo culture is, go over the many benefits of Hugo culture, and even describe the steps to construct a Hugo Hill. First, we need to define what Hugo culture is. Hugo culture, or hill culture, are basically just raised planting beds that are composed of many different layers of natural materials that are really good at retaining water and nutrients for plants to use. As you can see here, the raised planting beds are started by having a trench dug into the earth. Then, each of the layers, which we'll talk about later, are stacked in one by one on top of each other, eventually forming a mound. These mounds are great for plants to thrive in, and sometimes even work better than regular beds. In general, there are three main uses for hugel culture. The first is placemaking. As you can see here, someone used hugel culture to add to this little park area. People can go in and sit on the stumps while also observing the plant growth on the hugel hills. The second main function is water channeling and absorption. Hugel Hills are really good at absorbing water due to deteriorating logs in the base layer. The logs soak in all the rainwater and hold it for future use by plants. Additionally, a designer can shape Hugel Hills in such a way that they'll channel water to or away from a desired location. The third major function is gardening. People love to use Hugel Hills for their home and community gardens because of the improved water retention and soil nutrients. The benefits of Hugel culture are many, but here are some of the major ones. Earth Minded A lot of what Hugel Hills is based on is the idea of recycling. Recycling everything from the building materials to make the Hugel Hill, such as old railroad ties and any old logs or sticks that you have laying around. They don't have to be chopped up and thrown into the dumpster. You can use them to create your own Hugel Hill. Another major benefit is how Hugel Hills are able to provide a large amount of nutrients and water to the plants planted on top of them. Hugel Hills are rich with nutrients. Here the graphic shows you the deterioration process that happens in a Hugel Hill. The plants on top of the hill receive all the nutrients from the logs and organic matter deteriorating over time. Additionally, Hugel Hills are good with stormwater mitigation. Hugel Hills can mitigate stormwater surface runoff and even reduce flooding, especially when it's used on a large scale. The last major benefit that this video will go over is spatial conservation. Hugel Hills can be as big or as small as you want them to be. However, there's something to say about how they can save space. On the left, you can see a traditional raised garden area with a bunch of different beds. On the right, you can combine all those different beds into one Hubel Hill, which will save space and materials. The following slides will list out the steps to construct your own Hubel Hill. The example given was done by my sustainable construction class, led by Professor Ching Luo. The first step is to locate where you want your Hubel culture to be. Generally, you want to locate your Hubel Hill in a relatively lower spot where it can capture lots of water runoff. Once you've located the perfect spot for your Hugo Hill, then it's time to start digging a trench. Your trench will need to be about 1-2 to two feet deep and about as wide as you'd like your Hugo Hill to be. Step 2 is to lay down a base layer of giant logs, thick branches, and even railroad ties if you have them available. Step 3 is to find any medium to small sized branches to stack on top of your logs. Keep in mind that the logs and the branches will make up the majority of your height, so stack these to as tall as you'd like them to be. Step four is to add on alternating layers of soil and manure, or instead of manure, you can use compost. You'll add them on one layer at a time. Soil, manure, soil, manure, and so on. Step five, once you're satisfied with the general height of your Hugel Hill, it is wise to go around with a shovel or tamping bar Put pressure on the side so that any dirt and manure can fall into the voids between the logs and branches. Step six is to install whatever plant life you desire. You can grow a garden to eat from or perennials to view throughout the year. This photo was taken of the same Hugel Hill you viewed in the last video, one month after it was planted. So as you can see, all the hard work of constructing your Hugel Hill will quickly pay off with a luscious garden. 